Bam, 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 we're live. We're live, Bowie. We're live. Do you want to come up here? We're live, Bowie. What's up, y'all? Where's my... Bowie, I'm missing the mouse. Ugh. Ugh. Prosperity, what's up? Jen, Bowie says hi. Bowie says hi. Don't you, Bobo? He also says, let me down, Mom. Not in front of the guys, so. There's that. What's up, you guys? Good news is that that resin didn't leak out of that triangle. I guess now it's a tray, but there's a painting on the back of it. Um, so it didn't leak out, but it's still not solid yet either. Um, as evident by Jeff did this after I poured the tray that did not leak everywhere. And it's still very much like... If I put it vertical for any amount of time, it's gonna slump. Like you can touch it because it's, I poured this so thin, but like the thicker quantity ones, super squish. So I will un, not unmold, well I'll unmold those tomorrow, but You know what I mean, for the, maybe unveil, we'll say unveil. I will unveil the tray tomorrow. Bowie, you be sweet. He's trying to get Cujo squirrel, so that's fun. Anita, what happened? Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. So today I wanna work with some alcohol inks and some resin and some glitter, possibly cellophane. I don't know. It may get crazy. I'm drinking water, so. Let me find some stripper music and let's get this show going. Speaking of stripper music, if anybody watched Jeff's um, Snapchat last night, things got crazy at Drag Bingo. I'm going to leave it at that. What's up, you guys? What's better for translucent epoxy color? Alcohol ink, India ink, resin tint, food coloring. I would say that resin tint is best because it's going to be the most light fast and it won't um, mess with the integrity of the resin. Anything water-based may weaken your resin, therefore opening up to um, it being less UV resistant, more susceptible to scratches and things like that. So I would say stick to things that are made to be in resin, which would be things that are not water-based. Awesome, JJ. This prize last night was a merzer. You guys are more than welcome to Sippy Sippy on my behalf tonight. I'm sticking with Aqua Purificata, which is, I don't know what language for purified water, but it's just regular. It's Ozarka, balling on a budget. I know, last night's snaps were amazing, for sure. So, <clears throat> here we go. Um, I'm using dark pink from Zig, turquoise green from Zig, Blick ink marker refill in the shade canary yellow, and of course, a staple in my stuff, gold. This one is from Ranger. The alcohol I'm using 
is 91% isopropyl alcohol from Mountain Falls. I got it off Amazon. I do believe I have it linked in the description box below. What's up, Tiffany and everyone joining in? Mm -hmm. um, the heat gun I'm using tonight is going to be this Wagner heat gun. And the reason why I'm using this one as opposed to my go-to resin heat gun, the Amtake HG6618, is because I don't need the platypus attachment and it's a lower um, air flow push. So it's kind of more like an embossing heat gun, but I can turn the heat all the way up, which would make the ink stain where I have it quicker, or I can turn it all the way off and just move the uh, ink around as if I was just blowing it around. Um, so yeah, that's now. I resined it. Okay. Wait a minute. What is happening? Please hold. I resined my button. Okay. We're good. Just had to kickstart it. We're good. We're good. All right. So um, I'm using one of our cradle boards that we sell in our shop. I just painted it with some spray gesso and now it is baby booty smooth. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, you really need to have something super smooth with no tooth on it to have a nice flow for your alcohol inks, right? Right. Step one, drench with alcohol. Make sure you don't have any torches or candles. Don't do alcohol inks with mood lighting like candles because then you're going to set everything on fire and that's no fun. Right. What up, Kim? I think I'm going to do these in like little sections in theory I don't know also as you can see my space is a little bit wonky nope too much what's the deal Lucille We'll just have to move more quickly. Um, what's up, Doris? What's your next video idea? I don't know what I'm doing with that, but. Right, Nancy? Those are awesome products. Thank you for supporting our store. Um, so I'm using this gun first at, you can't see it, but it says 650. I'm starting off with a low and slow situation. Because I want to be able to really manipulate these colors. Hey, Carol. Oh, no worries. Um, Doris, I just didn't know what you said. Girl, use any of my ideas. You know that everything's free game here at ATD Studios. I want everybody to experiment with all the things, doing all the things. Nothing's off limits for people to, to create. Wrong one. What's up, G Lady? Cherie? Hi, Heidi. Oh, Doris, I got you. Slow sometimes and very slow. Is 
but only sometimes. So I'm letting this dry in patches because I want to have like dark rings, not even rings, but squiggles throughout. I don't want to do negative space on this one. I'm kind of just letting it do what it wants to do at this juncture. All I know is, is that I want these bright colors for the base of my resin piece. So. That's what we're doing. That's awesome, baby cakes. I hope you have a nice studio area set up to get your art on. So if I were to turn my heat gun up to a higher temperature, this would go faster, but give me more of these lines because it would evaporate the alcohol that's in the inks, making it stain where it is more quickly. So just a little tidbit of information. I'm hoping I'm giving the right information to you guys. Because all I know is what we do here. And sometimes I get emails from people that's like, that's not how I do it. And it turns out the exact same or better or different or not even almost the same. To which I always respond positively because as long as people are arty, it makes me happy. I really don't care if people use my techniques or not. But for the people that are in... Um, an artist funk or need some inspiration or have questions about art that's what we're here for not, not here so much for the people that already know what they want to do get off my channel and go paint something with all due respect I do appreciate all feedback as well, that being said. Um, it is the same kind of gold that Jeff was using the other day. It's just in a different, it's in a smaller bottle. Almost have all the alcohol ink dried. Then we can move ahead with Sealing it in and adding the resin. Ugh, I keep doing that. I keep hitting the pedal to turn this heat gun off and it's not attached to the pedal. My resin heat gun is, so. And I end up with like all the heat guns going in. It's not a good time. You don't need mail anyways, baby cakes. I wish I had thought of that, Nancy. It's all the way dry already. But here's our alcohol ink piece so far. Dana, dana, dana. Thank you so much. Samia, am I saying that correctly? I do have the correct sealer tonight. I don't know if this is the, well, it's up here. I don't know if I ordered this and forgot or if this is the one that Teresa sent us, but it is the proper sealant. The important thing is that it's a UV archival spray and that it is matte. If you get, 
I think the satin is also okay, but the semi-gloss and the gloss have alcohol properties to it, which will reactivate and fade all of your this, and that is not what you want. So make sure it is matte or satin. Hi, Cynthia. Okay, so the difference, in my opinion, between Art Resin and Stone Coat's Art Coat is that I get about maybe 50 minutes, possibly an hour working time with Art Resin. I get well into two hours with Art Coat. Um, and it dries more rigid. Like Art Resin seems like a really soft resin to me. Um, so I have to wait longer between shipping it after I finish it. So that kind of hurts me a little bit. And that's the only resin that Jeff had a bad reaction to. He actually got resin rash from Art Resin. Um, and he hasn't never gotten it from any other brands. We've, we've tried on the channel probably about a dozen or 15 resins. It also, um, Art Coat can withstand up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So if I have any leftover resin and I want to make like a coaster with it, um, I know that I can put like a hot coffee cup on it and it's not going to discolor the resin or leave an indentation where it like melted it a little bit. Basically, it's all the great things about art resin plus more durability and working time. That's awesome, Crystal. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I don't ever check my mail. Agreed, G lady. So Art Coat is one of Stone Coat's resin. So Stone Coat has their countertop coat, their Art Coat, their Quick Coat, Craft Coat, and then Supercast. There may be one more that I'm forgetting. But Art Coat is by Stone Coat. What's up, Soul Minded Creations? So, Kim, this spray is UV Archival Spray. It is the matte version as well, which is very important to have either the satin or the matte. So, once your alcohol ink piece is fully dried, you can generously spray this Archival Spray on. One really good hefty coat is all you really need. There we go. Also, I have to say, um, don't spray any aerosol, anything around an open flame. So Doris, no mood lighting with candles, with alcohol inks or archival spray or spray paint. Um, but yeah, one really good, oh, also be in a well-ventilated area and have a mask on if you find it necessary. You should also probably have a mask on when working with resin because ultimately it is a chemical and vapors are not good for you to breathe in. But if I had a mask on, y'all beautifuls would not be able to hear me. So, um, yeah. Don't do as I do, do as I say. I think I did. That may have been backwards, but you know what I mean. Um, Mike, I've gotten well into two hours and beyond with um, Art Coat. Don't forget that if you buy any resin from, or any of the pigments from Stone Coat, use my code YALL, Y-A-L-L, -L, all capitals, no punctuation, to get $10 off your $100 order with Stone Coat.
Um, we'll have Stone Coat's Art Coat back in my shop. That order should get here in the next two, three days. So, now we must resin. Need a bucket. Boom. Bucket. What up, Nene? Bentley's being a little turd. That's no good. I, I really wanted to make it look like it glows, so I'm really glad that you caught that. I think it's fun so far. Very ethereal. Ooh. That's a good word. If I like this piece in the end, I'm just going to call it ethereal, right? Right. So, Aaron, if you're good with um, the 45 to an hour working time, I definitely would recommend doing your um, art layer with the craft coat and then doing your top coat with either the countertop epoxy or the art coat. That way it really seals in everything and protects it. Think of it like resin sunblock. I, I have heard of porcelain paper. Um, Judy has some. And I'm supposed to have some. But I don't know where it is. I'll find it. I'll find it and do a review for y'all. Okay, resin. I happen to have some resin on me. What kind is this? Art coat. Sometimes it's just a little adventure to find out what kind of resin I pull out from the depths of under my table. Um, I'm predicting that this will take less than what I'm making up, but I'm making six ounces for this 12 inch round. It should take, it probably would only take five ounces. Jenny, you don't like the ceramic paper? Noted. Does it crinkle and wrinkle and warp and stuff? Handy dandy artist till death stir stick. It does have some um, dried resin on it because I'm lazy and didn't wipe it off at the end of using it. But it's on there. It'll be fine. I have no idea, Nene. Oh, it does warp? That's not good because I use a lot of heat. What up, Carrie? Um, G and Jen, where are y'all going? What's up, Fireball Denise? Um, I agree, Denise. Jen needs to get her bootay down here. Lori, all of my stir sticks have like something on them, but they still work and I never have issues with crud getting into my resin, so I'm just rolling with it, you know? What up, Polly? Thank you. Welcome back, vamp. What up, sweet sour cream, Vinny? How are you gonna lose her stir sticks, Carrie? That's just a rude. Love it when so many fan tunes in. So in case you're new to resin or to Stone Coats resin, I will give a little bit of info. 
This is Art Coat by Stone Coat Countertops. It is a two hour working time under the most perfect conditions. Not even the most perfect conditions. I've worked it in like 50 degree weather and in humidity. Um, oh yeah? Jess over there, that's what she's setting me. Um, it is heat resistant up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or I think 260 Celsius, which is more than double boiling water. Um, it is chemical resistant, water resistant, heat resistant. I already said that. Um, all It's resistant to every, all the things except for maybe swine flu. I don't know how swine flu affects it, but it may. And um, there's no order. There's no death bubbles, which is something I super love. Um, it's got a great viscosity. It's not too runny. It's not too syrupy. I know, Jen, you're the one dropping all the that's what she said phrases. What's up, bad boonie? Um, it's just a great resin to work with. It hardens really well. The pot life is pretty long. So it's awesome. Um, I haven't heard of anybody, I don't think, getting resin rash from it. That's not to say that they're not out there. Nobody has brought that to my attention should they be out there. Um, Corkstar, that's what I would recommend to anybody balling on a budget is do your art layer with craft coat. If you're cool with the 45 to an hour working time, then flood coat with art coat to seal it in. Oh my goodness, what are you guys talking about mothership and stuff? Should I tint my resin or just glitter top coat it with possibly some gold veining or white? Ooh, that's not good, Nene. Absolutely, Holly. What brand are you using, Diane? Right, Vamp? All of the glitter I'm seeing. Okay, so let me get some glitter. Glitter, glitter. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, my resin, resin. And I got some glitter for you. Sugar, sugar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Halo magic. Ooh, Diane, I'm sorry. Chum, 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 chum. What's up, Scarlet? Scarlet, we gotta work on that sunset beach piece, cause it is not the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, awesome, Erin. Um, so you guys, I have opened up my shop's website, brand, whatever, on like Yelp and Google and Facebook for like reviews. And on my website, there's like an option to review the paints and products and things. So if you get like a second, drop a review. Hopefully a good one, but if you've had some kind of bad experience, I, I never want to have any kind of false anything out there. So whatever your experience, I would love to hear about it. And it would help my company if I have reviews. It helps my rank on Google and things like that. It helps people to trust that I may kind of know what I'm doing. E-science style.
You hate Chicago in the summer. Do you want to do you want to discuss that, Jen? Come down here and see what summer's about. So I am making a little bit of gold. I'm using 007 because it's bomb.com slash org slash edu. Oh, Jen, you would love it down here in the summer. It's just so like soothing walking on the sun-esque but like under a volcano like an armpit of a volcano that's what texas is like in the summer september in texas is not too soon drive down here you have to come down here and do the canvas swap for our rounds anyways right right All right, Florida is a summer for real. Dan, are you coming to our Florida class? I'm just saying, Scarlett, I'm just saying. What up, Cindy? Kim? Um, I don't have info on the Colorado Springs one yet, but I'm working on it right now. Well, I hope to see you there. Oh yeah, Mobile is brutal. I drove through, we're gonna be driving through Mobile again in September when we go down to our class. Okay. Uh, Fireball Denise has a bomb AC. So, I'm using some Silver Halo Fine for this piece. And I don't want to do too much because the last time I did this, I overloaded it and you couldn't really even see what else was going on. I just want a little sparkle. And I might even add some of this in there as well. I'm using some Violet bling it sparkle from primary elements or resin art i have it i have it available on our on our website just a little bit to give it that like pearlescent hue Might do that. Might just do that, Diane. Baby Cakes Halo and 007 are two of my go-to things. Look at that, like, pretty purple, like, ghost shimmer, I guess. Jen, I, I take it back, okay? That was, I misspoke. Now that I have this on here, I'm like, should I have doodled a little bit on the background? But too late now, too late. Ooh, I'm really gonna love this. I can tell already. Now I do want to make sure it has a really good thick layer of resin down. So while this technically did cover it, I'm putting a little bit extra. Right, Diane? Aw, thanks, Jen. I love your entire guts, too. Scarlett, did you share with Doris the, the secrets to OBS? I did, Nene. I did spray it with the sealant. Oh, yeah, Jerry K. This is how that happens.
We're actually um, working on doing a class in Vegas as well. Oh, good, Scarlett. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I helped you, Doris. All right, so you add heat to pop the bubbles that were mixed in from doing the part A and part B. And now we have just a little bit of purple sheen and a good amount of glitter in there. And now to decide whether I want to do gold veining or leave well enough alone. The polls are open, tell me what you think. So Lisa, the triangle is turning out really well. It is in the dust free zone because it's gonna take another day for it to set up completely. What's up, Miyasa? Vamp. So, I thought I would still ask. All right. So I ended up using half. I used three ounces. So for anyone at home wondering how much resin you can get away with using on a 12 inch, it's three ounces. All right. So let's do some gold ribbons, shall we? We shall. So this is my 007 all mixed up and pretty. Boom, gold. And it's already starting to float and fleck up. You can see it, that highlight. So fun when it just shifts all together. Like it's moonwalking across the piece. No. Y'all are cutest ones. So, this is how it looks. I'm happy with it. Let me get my cellular device to do a true color video so I can post it for yens. And we'll figure out something to do with the rest of our resin. Y'all, my sister on her way to work this morning found puppies abandoned on the side of the road. Some jerk face just abandoned some like six week old puppies. You know this gold reminds me of is Mayron. There we have it. Agreed, Jen. Anyways, now my sister's on a vigilante hunt to find out who did it. And I really pity the person if she finds out. Because she don't play. BRB!
Alrighty. Alrighty then. Let's let's make some moldy things. Since we have like some sparkly resin, let's make some sparkly moldy things. Right. Where did I put my resin? Um, Diane, yeah. Um, I've had some people send me information on Maker Central, Brenda and Mallory. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely reach out to them. Hey, Clara. All right. So let's just go for it, right? Right. Now I'm only filling it part of the way up. These um, molds are courtesy of LeCron Creations. And I have her information down in the description box below. Um, there's also a code down there to get $20 off of your order. If you want to get some awesome tastic molds, I highly recommend hitting her up. She does great work. Clara. That's what she said. Nope. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Clara. And Marie goes to it. I've been meaning to meet up with her so I can talk to her how much her Magneta and Patello and Gesso words have inspired my life. Now on this one, I'm just gonna drizzle in some of this gold. So I can have gold just at the tip. <laughs> I crack myself up. Boom. Susanna Danks is a very talented artist. If she likes that resin, I would believe in it 100%. So I'm squeezing these a little bit to make sure there's no air pockets and air bubbles. Um, I have actually used Halo in like my hair and in my makeup before, so. I don't know if it's like body safe glitter, but I have walked on the wild side. Fill her up. So when you get these molds, remember that you need to fill them all the way to the rim to make it easiest to get everything out of it after it's set up fully. I did vamp. Ugh. You also still have to hit it with some heat to pop some of the bubbles. For doing pieces that are this thick, I know that's what she said. Um, it's really best to use a casting epoxy because it's um, a thinner viscosity and so the air bubbles can release more easily leaving a less cloudy um, piece. But I didn't mix that. This is what I mixed. So that's why we're using this to make this. I also have this negative space of a lip coaster. I'm just gonna, just gonna put this on here. Oh yeah, Michelle, I'm gonna try the iridescent paper on top of black. Soon. What is soon?
Well, that didn't cover as much as I needed it to. So, I might just steal some out of here, even though I just said you have to have it super full. Work with what you got, people. Do what you gotta do. How funny. I'm just making sure there's some resin across this whole surface because I want something on all of it. Mm -mm. Don't even go there with that's what she said. I already know. I already know. I think I'm going to take some out of this one too. <gasps> Not that much. Oh well. Here it goes. It's going to be gold and glittery. I don't know what it's going to be used for, but we're making it. We're making it. There. How did I say what? I have forgotten. So, hope you all learned something today. Um, even though this is still squishy, I'm going to try to remove it so you guys can see something from yesterday's situation. Y'all, that was so frustrating yesterday. So in this mold that we're making and probably will be selling for freeform coasters, uh, we put a piece of cellophane and some heavenly blingit interference from resin art. And we use the super cast epoxy. So it's not really ready to come out yet. Um, sometimes, Jen, should we move up? So this is still real floppy. But it's real pretty. I will end up painting the outside edge gold with a paint pen. Do I even have one here? No. Well, I have this one. It's not going to be as cute. <laughs> yeah. Looks like mustard. That's not cute. Abort. Um, Yasa, he had a seizure for the past couple days, but they're really quick, and vet said, I took him to the vet, and his vet said his condition hasn't worsened, so we think that it's from low blood sugar, so I've been, like, pumping NutraCal and VitaCal into his mouth. Anyways. I will finish doing this and show you guys how it turns out. And I'll do a whole episode on our new molds. Um, we've actually thought about going live a little bit earlier and we might start doing that. Um, the pups have been quiet tonight. 
as I say that, come here. Well, come here. Moo has shown up to say hello to everybody. Um, I ordered some CBD and I can't find it now. Some special for puppies CBD. And I had the vet check it out to make sure it's okay. And he said go for it. What do you think, Moose? Everyone says hi to you. Meanwhile, Bowie's over here losing it a little bit. Getting comfortable. I know, Nene, I love how he does this too. Bowie Beans is being real quiet tonight, surprisingly. I think it's because he was over here chewing on something probably he wasn't supposed to. No. It was a bully stick. Hi, Sherry. Miss Cruz, how are you doing? Yes, he does need all the loves. He's a delicate flower. So he's down there chewing on his little his little bully stick. No, big boy yawns. I know it. Alright, y'all. I have to take the little manses out to sleep. Nope, that doesn't make sense. Out for a walk before I put move to bed. He goes to sleep early because he's a little old man. Um so don't forget we have classes coming up in, I know, we have classes coming up in Dallas and in Florida. We're working on the Colorado one and also a Chicago one. Um, in the meantime, I haven't heard from Shy. I will ask Judy if she has. I know, but his seizures aren't that bad. They're about four seconds, and he doesn't, like, foam up or anything. It's not so bad. I mean, any seizure is a bad seizure, but I know it could be a lot worse. Anyways. And Virginia. Um, so, okay, Bill, you want to come up here and say hi to the people? Oh, I know it. Oh, I know it. Don't chew on your brother. I keep having to say that, and I never thought I'd have to say, don't chew on your brother. Anyways, mwah, mwah. Um, read all of our stuff. Check us out on all of our social media. And, oh, easy, Bowie. Um, they're palms. And um, shoot me an email if you have any questions. You can leave. There he goes. Comment down in the box below if you have any recommendations or requests for our upcoming um, videos. Let me know what you think. And be kind to one another. You never know what someone, Hey. Bowie. You never know what someone might be going through. Like Bowie. He's going through a little bit of separation anxiety from Moo. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, you guys. We love you so, so much. And we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, 8 p.m. Central Standard, Dallas, Texas, United States of America time. <gasps> Bye.